have a little teeny program and then you can go back to seeing your newfound friends and drinking this wonderful cocktail. Can you help those people come in from outside and say, I know the view's so gorgeous. Come on, Jan Wall. <laughs> okay, I'd like to introduce Nikki Wood, publisher of Marin Magazine. Michelle, you just took my first line. <laughs> I'm Nikki Wood, publisher of Marin Magazine and co-founder. <laughs> on, on behalf of the women of Marin Magazine and all of the women of Marin Magazine, please raise your hand so that we all know where you are. Yay, women of Marin Magazine. We want to thank you all for joining us tonight. We're so excited and honored to have ourselves surrounded with all of you powerful women. It's yeah. great. How about this venue? Can you believe it? What an amazing place. We are so fortunate to have our partnership with Andine Trident. We have had a few events here and we just love the partnership. Thank you so much to Andine. Thank you also to Stephen Passaro. Where did he go? There he is, our, our wonderful guitar player with that beautiful music, so fabulous. Thank you so much, Stephen. A special recognition to all who participated in our first Women in Business Profile special section. A variety of businesses participated, everything from real estate to insurance to matchmaking to plumbing to cannabis concierge to architect to retail stores, healing arts, and everything in between. A big thanks to all of you who, who participated. And you can note that the people that did participate have the orange bar on their, on their name tag. So um, if, you get a, if, you, if you get a chance, ask them about their unique businesses and um, they'll have lots to share with you. I also want to thank our associate publisher, Deborah Hershon. Where are you, Deborah? She's downstairs. What? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Downstairs. <laughs> She's probably still checking people in. Checking her she, she, worked really, she worked really hard to organize this event. And she also created the gift bags that you're going to be receiving when you, when you walk out the door. You'll find products from EO Products. <laughs> Equator Coffee and Super Love Cookies. So thanks to all of these companies that helped contribute to the gift bags. As we celebrate women tonight, I am thrilled and honored to introduce you all to Marin Magazine's new owner, Susan Noyes. She Susan is truly a woman to be celebrated. She is the founder and chief visionary officer of Make It Better Media, based in Chicago. She's the mother of six plus two. Wow. <laughs> She'll tell you what that means. <laughs> Former pra practicing attorney, and somehow she found the time and energy to launch a media company 10 years ago. Her vision and enthusiasm, enthusiasm for making the world a better place is both inspiring and contagious. I want you to join me in welcoming Susan. Thank you, Nikki. That was such a fabulous introduction. Um, and I would like, in turn, to introduce my daughter, Elizabeth, technically my stepdaughter, and my daughter, Skady, who are right here. And to welcome all of you to come see our family, the six kids, the two stepkids, all the grandkids, I have the card here. And I'd also like for you to all to understand that if it wasn't for Elizabeth, my stepdaughter, we would not be here because she was 11 years old when I'd 
hadn't been dating her dad very long, and she was like, you know, when you marry my dad, can I please be a bridesmaid? <laughs> and the man that I married, his mother had grown up here in Marin, in a home in Sausalito and Ross, and her grandfather, no, her her great-grandfather, my husband's great-great-grandfather, had his family had lost everything in the East, and they came west because of the gold rush, because the last thing that they owned was the black diamond gold mine that's actually in East Bay. And once they sort of stabilized there, they got to Marin as fast as they could. So Marin is deep in our family history. And my husband, when we got married, thanks to Elizabeth, um, <laughs> said, Susan, I'd love to raise my family in California. I said, Nick, we're Midwesterners. I'd love to raise my children in the Midwest. So we, we, Elizabeth and her brother went to Northwestern. We raised six kids in Chicago where I'd been practicing law. We, we launched Make It Better. And finally, we get to acquire Marin Magazine and Spaces. And my husband's really happy. And we are really happy because this is an amazing magazine. So I'd like for you to understand a little bit about Make It Better and, and what we did in Chicago and our platform to understand why we are so celebrating this partnership and this opportunity to grow here in the Bay Area with Marin Magazine. So Marin, uh, Make It Better, Mara Lipton was here a little while ago and her husband um, was a great publisher of newspapers and magazines that he sold and then he was running the Media Management Center at Northwestern University. And, you know, I have two, a couple kids going off to college. I have uh, my youngest about third grade and I'm thinking, I have a lot of energy and I need to find my what's next. And I thought, okay, I have the opportunity to practice what I've been preaching to my kids. Find what you love and the rest will follow. And that actually launched me on a two year, like, okay, what do I love? <laughs> <laughs> I love to write, I love to organize a lot of moving pieces. I like to feel like my time makes a difference. And then I read Catherine Graham's autobiography and that was it. Oh my God, I can be a publisher and do all the things that I love. <laughs> Very similar to Nikki Wood, who has now founded three successful magazines and uh, brought her daughter along in the process. I don't think that Nikki and Mimi understood what a perfect um, opportunity to come together and celebrate and introduce me and make it better was when they said we're gonna do this thing called celebrating women in May so could you come and be part of that because ladies we really need to celebrate you because the world is transforming around women and they are it is really transforming around women and the internet so I'd like to give you a few stats about that and have you feel empowered and figure out how to connect and help each other grow because that is what women do, right? We, we don't just take care of ourselves and our little narrow. We figure out how to make it better for our kids and make it better for our husband and make it better for our aging parents and make it better for our friends in our community and our school. And if there's a little bit of time left over, make it better for ourselves. And we love to get together with our girlfriends and Money is transferring to women like you can't believe. So the Bank of Montreal, think about this, it's a Canadian bank, did a survey in 2015 that has been widely published and the world is sort of reorganized around it. American women in 2015 already controlled 52% of the total wealth in the United States. Yeah. Now, now, in 2018, we control 60%. We control 51% of the New York Stock Exchange. True. And by 2020, we will control over two-thirds of all wealth in the United States. Have you noticed that in the Super Bowl commercials, even those commercials are targeting women. You see a man with a, with a you know, apron on vacuuming. <laughs> This real estate magazine um, has a 
ad on the back, and my husband just picked it up at the at the airport on the way here. It has an ad on the back for net jets. Guess what? It's one woman going out to her net jet. Yeah. Women control. It varies between either 85 or up to 95 percent of all consumer dollars spent. So. We decide what house we're going to buy, what the family car is going to be, what people are going to wear, where we're going to go on vacation, uh, what health and education resources we need. And we are also the ones who are actually taking care of our aging parents, right? So we're helping them figure out how to spend their money, too. So what do men do? <laughs> what's important is this is not a man bashing thing because what we do is we understand how to make the right decisions for everybody, including the men. So it's, and our kids. Um, a little bit more about Make It Better. So we are, I hope that you have all subscribed to our Make It Better Bay Area Better Letter and you're starting to follow all the ways we amplify social impact. We amplify your social impact. We um, partner with nonprofits and tell their story really well and get them to uh, promote our better letter. In Chicago, what we do for nonprofits is so successful now that we have created one giant giving circle. That's called our Better Giving Circle, where you get to give $1,000 to your favorite nonprofit who has a contract with us in order to tell the story about that brings the mission to life, that helps them um, get the word out about their event, that helps them get more sponsors and get more connections and grow the love online. And then you get invited to a very special dinner where you get to network with other philanthropists at a wonderful venue with a dinner that's been curated by our super popular dining chef. I hope that we can do this in this area with all of you soon too. If you are passionate about a nonprofit, better giving circle, please. Um, more of the amplifying philanthropy is really important because women are better philanthropists than men. And there's all kinds of data coming out of the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy at Indiana University that proves this over and over again. Women, younger women give twice as much money as younger men at every, you know, every demographic. In the top 25% of our country, and you know, if we're standing in this room, we are all in the top 25%. We give 156% of what every man gives, whatever our age. And we don't just write a check. Once we take a cause to heart, we give everything. We, we, we learn about it. We understand what kind of items that they need. You know, that do you need shoes? Do you need whatever? And we, um, how do we volunteer to help you there? And then we bring our friends along with us too, right? So. When women give, nonprofits raise exponentially more money and more support than for a man. And the interesting stats now coming out, thanks to Nielsen Research, is that women also do the same thing in business. So all of us are in business together, right? That's why we're here. And um, the Nielsen survey said that for every one new client that is referred by a man to a business, a woman refers 12. Wow. Girlfriends, I love what you're doing, and I want my girlfriends to come along too. And now men are seeing that. So they are learning to trust, they're learning to see. I, I was earlier um, today with Bill Bullock, who is uh, who runs Golden Gate Sotheby's. And he was like, so I don't get to go? And I was like, I'm so sorry. It's just about celebrating women. And he said, I get it. It's actually women's time, and they do a better job. They are laser focused. They cut to the chase. They get the job done, and they take care of others in the process. So that's why you're here. Please, please um, really pay attention to the Make It Better platform, because we're starting with Marin. And hopefully making them better online too, but also growing our, opportunity, our ability to amplify your social impact. 
in Napa, Sonoma, East Bay, Silicon Valley, and um, San Francisco, and here. And I special call out to Jennifer Matsukawa, who's here somewhere. Thank you. So Jennifer actually runs an amazing nonprofit in Chicago. That's the People's Music School. If you are a child who has any kind of musical inclination in the struggling areas of Chicago where you would never get any music education, if your family also shows up with you and participates in some way, you get a free education from passionate, talented musicians. Um, it, it, it's awesome. It's a model that needs to be replicated everywhere. Jennifer's husband, and they have two children, and they used to live in the Chicago area, but her husband has a very big job. I think he's in charge of Apple Pay at Apple in Silicon Valley, and she has draw driven all the way here from Silicon Valley to because she believes in Make It Better. She understands what we do, and if you want to understand it a little bit better, please talk to Jennifer. Um, <laughs> And you are transforming the opportunity for kids to and their families to change their lives as they are connected. And by the way, they play for Barack Obama all the time when he's fundraising in Chicago. So awesome. It's a, what we do is a virtuous circle. Please learn more. If we can be helpful with our Better Giving Circle or anything else, thank you. But otherwise, thank you to Nikki and Mimi and every single person at Marin for being so welcoming and being awesome partners to us. And in those fantastic goodie bags, there are more stats, more empowering women. You are changing the world. Own it, stats. Excuse me, I, I, I really. Excuse me. So my daughter and my stepdaughter can tell you that I forget really important things sometimes, and I just did that. I need your attention just for one more minute. I am really good at forgetting things, too. That's what happens when you have a lot of kids. Um, Yesterday, in preparation for this, I was going through the Marin Magazine saying, oh, I really want to go learn about Margaret O'Leary. She sounds amazing. She has a story in Mill Valley. And I want to check out other advertisers in Mill Valley. And I didn't actually announce myself. I just sort of quietly went in and saw, wow, they've got some really good stuff. And um, there was a jacket, a leather jacket that I really loved. And I... They said, well, we don't have it here, but we have it at our store, I think in Silicon Valley, actually. And I paid for it, and I'm on the way out, and I said, oh, by the way, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm glad to see that you have Marin Magazine out, and you're, because I'm Susan Noyes, and we're excited about tomorrow. And they had somebody drive, that instead of, they couldn't get it to me fast enough, they drove their, from their store there to here, and so Margaret brought it to me, and I said, I'm going to take my jacket off and put this on. 